I'm joined now by Nicholas Lanneman, founding director of Notre Dame's Wireless Institute, along with Bert Hochwald, faculty leader at the Institute. Both Nicholas and Bert are professors in Notre Dame's College of Engineering. Thank you guys for making the trip from Fitz. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. All right. So maybe some of our viewers here don't know what the Wireless Institute is. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about what the scope is of study and research there? Sure. We're a research center based in the College of Engineering and we engage multiple faculty from departments including electrical engineering, computer science and engineering, but also business and law. We've got a great team. So a little bit of everything there. Um, is there anything particular that you're focusing the work on now at the Institute? Well, ubiquitous wireless access used to be the goal, mm -hmm. but it's become the problem. And we all experience this every Saturday home game in Notre Dame Stadium. Yeah. So the Wireless Institute is tackling challenges in what we call crowded wireless, from crowded devices, to crowded venues, to crowded spectrum. And each of these challenges requires not only technology, but also economic and legal and policy perspectives. Now, are you bringing students in to help with some of the research and some of the study there? Uh, in two very important ways. So first of all, we have dozens of grad students directly involved in research projects and securing intellectual property and producing publications. And then we have hundreds of undergraduate students uh, conducting or participating in studies where we collect data on their usage and experiences throughout Notre Dame's campus networks. All right, so I understand you guys are experts in a, probably a field that most people watching don't really know too much about, but in cell phone radiation, also known as SAR, could you explain a little bit about um, what that is? And I see you've brought some models with you to help explain a new area of research you guys are working on. That's right, uh, uh, be happy to talk about it. SAR means specific absorption rate and it's uh, something that all cell phones are tested for. Mm -hmm. uh, the goal is to make sure that your cell phone, when it's transmitting, uh, meets a, a, a regulatory requirement on how much uh, electromagnetic radiation is going into the body or the head. And I understand you've actually worked on several different um, inventions to kind of d defer that radiation. Um, can you explain what you've brought with you and how it's working? Sure. Uh, yeah, over here we have uh, a head we call Yellow Bob here and a uh, mock-up of a cell phone on top and you're seeing on the screen here the radiation being absorbed by this uh, yellow mannequin and uh, some of the technology we're exploring includes uh, putting our own technology into mm -hmm. a cell phone and trying to make sure that the amount of radiation that's going into the body and head is as low as possible. All right, so I guess the question that I had when you guys first sat down is, is this something we need to be worried about? We use our cell phones all the time. Um, is radiation something that we should all be thinking about? I, the verdict is still out on uh, what uh, uh, the long-term effects of radiation, uh, radiation is. Uh, as Nick pointed out, uh, we're going to next generations of technologies. Cell phones are getting ever more crowded with radios more transmitters, each phone is, everyone wants them smaller and, and thinner, and yet with all these radios in there, uh, we're trying to make sure that uh, people are not exposed to excessive amounts of radiation. All right, and one last question. You've done two years of research. How much um, do you think is left before you really kind of grasp the best way to um, defray some of this radiation? Well, we have uh, National Science Foundation support uh, for the last two years. We'll have it for another year, possibly two more to go. So uh, we're looking forward to that. All right, certainly something to keep an eye on. Thank you guys both for coming in.